Welcome to Radio Frequency Classes. In today's video, I will explain the MOSFET characteristics, transfer characteristics and drain characteristics. And we will do the simulation using LT spice. So as you can see, already I have drawn the circuit. So to draw the circuit, what we have to do is, first we have to select the component library. And from here, we can type the NMOS and plus OK and we can place here this MOSFET so already I have placed it so this way you can place the MOSFET I will delete this one as I already I have placed it and then you can select the resistance from here and place one register here and one here one in input side another one output side and you can see that I have already mentioned here drain and source so this we can do by right click, go to draft and then comment text. So you can comment whatever we want. Suppose I want to write get. So I can write like this. Let's okay. And then we can place it here. So this way we can define the terminals also drain, source and get. And through drain you can see with this register I am connecting a supply which is VDS. So whatever name we will give we have to be careful whatever we will write here I have written as VDS so it should be same when we are doing the DC sweep and the same way I have connected a voltage supply at input side and I have given a name it as a VGS get to source voltage so this DC voltage source also we will get from the component library we will go here and then type VOL voltage source we will get it and then we can place the voltage source here and then we can edit this also always when we are drawing any circuit we should connect the ground until unless we are connecting the ground the circuit will not work properly it will be acting as a floating circuit so we should place a ground here always after drawing the circuit and assigning certain values I have given here 100 ohm and here 200 ohm any value will give because for input characteristics it doesn't matter much we are going to draw the characteristics for the drain current versus get to source voltage first and then we will see the drain current how it varies with respect to drain to source voltage for different different VGS values so after this we have to go to the simulate option edit simulation command and here you can see when we are checking the value of any particular parameter and we are trying to vary the other voltage source or current we should opt the DC sweep option and here you can see first source second source and third source so first for the transfer characteristics I am selecting the first source as VGS same thing as you can see here I have written so same way I am defining here as a VGS type of sweep I am taking as a linear start value of VGS is 0 volt and stop value is 10 volt with the increment of 2 press ok so you can see here dot DC VGS 0 10 and 2 this will appear once it is done then we have to click on run option once you click it the window will appear like this so you can see here we have 0 to 10 volt in this axis now To draw the relation between the ID current ID drain current and the get to source voltage bring the cursor here and this option will appear and we will click it then we can see the relation between the ID and VGS this relation is called as a transfer characteristics of the MOSFET how ID current varies with respect to get to source voltage increase in the get to source voltage there is a very small change in the current okay and we will get something like a diode current equation the same exponential relation we will be getting it and if you want to see the points just right click view mark data points so you can see 2 volt 4 volt 6 volt 8 volt and 10 volt because from 0 to 10 with increment of 2 volt we have placed it so we can see the values this is the transfer characteristics for drain characteristics again we have to go to the simulate command edit simulation command and then now first source we are going to vary the ID current with respect to drain to source voltage so I will make it VDS drain to source voltage sweep will be linear start value is 0 
and stop value now I have taken as 30 volt with the increment of 1 or 0 0.1 for better values because there is smaller chain. So this is the first source now second source will define it as a VGS VGS get to source voltage start value 0 stop value 10 and increment of 2 press ok now you can see here two parameters are defined VDS and VGS VDS is varying from 0 to 30 and VGS is varying from 0 to 10 with the increment of 2 once it is done then again we have to click on run option so now see when we are clicking it we can see the plot which gives us relation between ID and VDS for different different VGS value so as we can see VGS is defined from 0 to 10 with increment of 2 so total 6 point will be there 0 volt 2 volt 4 volt 6 volt and 10 volt so this higher one is black color is 10 volt and the down is 0 volt I'll make it more clearer by you can make it as go to view and then deselect the mark po data points so now we can see clearly these plots so this is the drain characteristics of the MOSFET so we can see here there are three regions actually if you want to make more clearer which values are assigned here so we can just right click here and go to draw option click on text and then type here VGS is equal to 10 volt press ok and place it here so that clearly we know that for which VGS the graph belongs to so same way we can add text for the uh, vertical axis or horizontal axis so as you can see there is a no current flow for the VGS of 0 volt so this red color down represents the cutoff region even though you are increasing the VDS voltage but there is a no current flow this is called as a cutoff region and when you can see our ID current is independent of the VDS means even though we are increasing the VDS current is constant this region is called as a saturation region and where the relation is linear our current varies linearly with respect to the voltage this region is called as a linear region or ohmic region so here loss is minimal and resistance is almost constant because it is a linear relation so mostly the MOSFET is used in this region and in the cutoff region for switch on and off respectively generally we avoid to use in the saturation region because of more losses so this way we can verify the drain characteristics ID so this one is for VGS 10 volt, 8 volt, 6 volt, 4 volt, blue color is for 2 volt and then again red is for 0 volt. So this way we can verify for MOSFET, any given MOSFET we can verify the transfer characteristics and the drain characteristics for a given MOSFET. Thank you for watching the video lectures. If you like the content, subscribe it and share among your friends. In next video, we will discuss the next topic of the basic electronics. Thank you.